Ilanko, we are driven by our vision of food and companionship enriching life. Goeiedag en vandag se nuus. Volgens die jongste data van die Landbou Machinerie Vereniging was trekkerverkope in november van jaar ongeveer 3% minder as die hoeveelheid trekkers wat verlede november gekoop is. Vir die jaar toe dusver is trekkerverkope nou ongeveer 7% minder as verkope verlede jaar. Stroperverkope vir die jaar het echter met 37% toegeneem. Volgens die verslag is die mark vir landbou machinerie vir al trekkers nie soveel slechter as wat aanvankelijk verwag is nie. Omstandig hier het beteken dat ouwer toerusting vervang kon word en dit het die mark gestabiliseer. Kijk uit vir die indiepte onderuit die oor binnenkort op Plaas TV. South Africa's agricultural gross value added has contracted by 9,6% in the third quarter. This follows an encouraging recovery of 2,8% in the second quarter of 2023. According to Wandilis Schlobo of Agbiz, these figures were a surprise as the ample field crop was expected to still reflect in the third quarter data. The livestock and poultry industry was the main contributor to the decline. These industries, which account for almost half the sector's value, have been hit by animal diseases such as foot and mouth disease, avian influenza and African swine fever. And some more data from Statistics South Africa show that South Africa's agricultural exports amounted to 3,9 billion US dollars in the third quarter of this year. This represents an increase of 4% compared to 2022. The products that dominated the export list this quarter were citrus, maize, apples and pears, nuts, wine, soya beans, sugar and fruit juices. Overall, South Africa's agricultural exports amounted to 10.2 billion US dollars in the first nine months of the year, up 1% from the same period in 2022. South Africa is preparing to export avocados to China and anticipates that the necessary protocols will be in place by February. The move aims to diversify export destinations beyond the UK and European Union, where oversupply challenges exist. China's avocado imports have surged, reaching 50,000 tons in the first nine months of this year. South Africa expects to initially send around 5 to 10 percent of its 20 million four kilogram cartons of avocados to China. Recent data from local organization South Africa Wine indicates that South African wine grape producers are expecting a good and somewhat bigger 2024 wine grape crop compared to the relatively small harvest of 2023. This is according to the first of four wine crop estimates issued annually by viticulturalists and producer sellers. This estimate is, however, still lower than the average harvest of the past 10 years. Cool and wet conditions characterized the post-harvest period and provided welcome relief during the recovery of vines after the harvest. Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development Minister Toko de Diza has raised concerns over Botswana's extension on import restrictions. According to a press release, de Diza's office was seeking an urgent meeting with her counterpart in Botswana, hoping that the impasse would be resolved through negotiations. Earlier this week, IOL reported that Botswana said it would extend and expand restrictions on imports of some fresh produce as it tries to become self-sufficient in food and to cut its import bill. The ban on imports of tomatoes, potatoes, onions and other produce was implemented in January 2022 and was due to expire at the end of December. However, it will now run until the end of 2025. This has had a significant impact on South African farmers who previously supplied about 80% of Botswana's food. And that's this week's news.